Sorry, this must be Jack's forensic seat. It's kind of hot. Sorry for the cheesy joke. <laughs> it's cheesy, man. But, I, I, you know, it wasn't just us. I think it was Keith Law who was, who was <clears> talking <throat> about it, too. And I think it's kind of fair here. Year five, the Mariners... It's kind of an important stretch they're entering in right now. Uh, it's a tough part of the schedule. They've been on the road a lot. They're home now as we tape this thing for weekend series against Texas. They have hit their, or once again, hit their low point of the season. Seven games under 500 at this point. Mm -hmm. um, a, a, really, a variety of moves made today. Yeah, it, it, it's, there's reaction like the, the seat is kind of hot. They're not sitting around waiting. They're trying to do some things. Yeah, and Keith Law said he had heard it from a high uh, executive high in somebody else's uh, franchise there that his seat was getting hotter by the day. Whether it should or shouldn't be is, is really the question. And you can look at you know deals that worked out and deals that didn't work out and you know how everybody approached them at the time and some of the ones he, that didn't work out that people love to point to I think are defensible. The Cliff Lee deal they had to get rid of him. He was not going to resign here. That was just not going to happen. So you had the option of keeping him till the end of the year, letting him walk, get nothing, or you trade him for what was the jewel of the Texas Rangers system at the time, Justin Smoke, along with Blake Bevan. But I mean, Smoke hasn't worked out. But at the time, people went, "Okay, yeah, that's a, you got to get something, and that's great." Same with Montero. You got the jewel of the system in New York with Montero. You got, you know, you got other things that didn't work out. Sean Figgins, everybody thought. It's a great deal. I didn't hear anybody, anybody come out when that happened and say, bad deal. Now, as you said earlier today, uh, the end result is really all that matters. To regard, yeah. doesn't matter how people felt at the time. None of them have worked out. And it's really surprising that, that you know, in Figgins we can put aside for a second that you look at the, we'll throw Ackley in as the second pick overall that they took, mm -hmm. but you look at the fates of those three players, and um, we talked with a guy from Baseball America on the show, which you can listen to the podcast of. Jim uh, Callis. Jim Callis, yeah, who, who said the odds of missing on all those three were, were astronomical. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, as we sit here today at the end of May, uh, it looks like they have. And uh, those are the sorts of things that, that ultimately are very tough to survive. Uh, you know, when Jack Sorenza came here, he said what he wanted to do and what he was charged on doing was to build up the minor league system, which no doubt was a disaster. If that's true, that's been done. It's five years in now. If they're going to slump at the major league level again, are they going to feel compelled to do something? I don't know, but I know for Jack, for Eric Wedge, for all those guys, nice little winning streak would take a little bit of the heat off. Let's how about we start tonight? Just a little one.